What's going on everyone? Welcome to Pokemon Snap with me, Austin John Plays. Now, I'm well aware that Pokemon Snap for the Nintendo Switch comes out at the end of this month, so this is going to be a fun limited series about the game Pokemon Snap, just in case you have no idea what it's about, because it came out in 1999. That means, what, anyone under 23 wasn't born yet? Something like that? Yeah, that's how math works. This is generally not a very long game. You could essentially 100% this in four to eight hours if you actually know what you're doing. I do own this on the N64, but I decided that we we're gonna be playing this on the Wii U because, uh, well, it's gonna be better resolution. I'm gonna be able to capture it via HDMI. And honestly, looking how, how very specific and hard edges these are, maybe it wasn't a good idea that I did this in higher resolution but anyways we're gonna be playing Pokemon Snap now all right let's dive in in the opening cinematic of this game we kind of learn what is going on which is essentially uh, there's this strange ball of energy that we need to investigate pretty sure it's Mew now the funny part is is that you know Mew was kind of like a, a fun Easter egg put into the game and uh, yeah they made Pokemon Snap based on Mew hello there Hello there, Austin. I'm Oak, the Pokemon Professor. I don't know why I'm giving him this voice, but this is the voice I'm giving him. It kind of reminds me of, of Coach Steve from Big Mouth. The reason I invited you here is this Pokemon report. I'd like for you to take pictures of Pokemon for the Pokemon report. Here on Pokemon Island, wild Pokemon can be found everywhere. A lot of word Pokemon. This is my new invention, the Zero One Vehicle. You can take this on your trip. The Zero One Vehicle constantly moves toward the Gold Gate. Shall I repeat this information? Oh, what are you, the owl? Owl and Ocarina of Time. I'll teach you how to take pictures on the first course. I'm counting on you. Press A to do it. What a sunny beach. It looks great. I should get some awesome shots there. Yes. Okay, he's somewhere between Coach Steve and a little Boston in there. So this is the beach. We end up revisiting the same level a few times. Z to aim. Which one is Z? That's not Z. That's the Wii U menu. There we go. Okay, great. And then do we look around? Now we can look around. Try to take a lot of Pokemon pictures. Okay, no problem. And then this, uh, it's an inverted control stick that I wasn't expecting. Oh, it's not inverted controls. Let's take a picture of this Pikachu right here. Yeah, look at that face. I'm not getting credit for this Doduo, am I? Oh, he's coming back around. Yes, got him. Butterfree. Right now, I'm not trying to get a whole bunch of great pictures. I'm just trying to get some pictures. Like, I didn't get that Lapras. We're going to end up revisiting the same level a few times once we get different power-ups and upgrades and things, which is going to be pretty neat. So, like, this Pokemon that we clearly know is a Snorlax is just a question mark for now until we have a, a way to wake him up. These are, these are some really bad pictures. Oh, did he jump out at me and I missed it? Oh, he's still jumping out at me. Come on, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Fine, whatever. There's... Oh, look, it's it's a meow ch chasing a Pidgey. <laughs> uh, did not, did not get ready for that one very well. Oh, there's Pokemon in here and we don't know what they are and they could come out on these stumps maybe. Maybe we could do that in the future. That'd be really neat. Oh, there's the Lapras again. Missed him again. Shucks. There's this river here. That's a nice butterfree picture, you know? Dang, do duos. Oh. Fine, whatever. You go get that bird. Hey, look, it's a Chansey and an Eevee. But we don't know it's a Chansey because it's a ball. I didn't know that Chansey could turn into a little ball like this. That's pretty neat, right? Uh, this Kangaskhan over here, who is very upset about something, about those flowers, man, F those flowers. Nobody wants those flowers. The pink ones, hot garbage. Got that Pidgey butt in there. This is Pokemon Gold. And look. Oh, they're doing, they're doing a special move. Whenever Pokemon end up doing a special move like that, uh, you end up getting extra credit and extra points and it's considered like a unique animation. They did say that that's gonna be in the new game and well, a lot more than just that. One picture has been taken, oh, okay, it's tallying up. I was like, pretty sure it took more than one there, buddy. 35 pictures have been taken. Okay, let's look for Oaksmark. Nine pictures of Pidgey have been taken. 
So all the photos are going to be based on, oh man, look at how bad this resolution is. All these photos are going to be based on several things, like unique animations, if there's other Pokemon in the photo, if they're in the middle of the photo, things like that. Doduo photos. That's the one that he's the biggest in. Neat. Let's look. Oh, we got credit for that Lapras. I'm not too sure how, but we did. Five Butterfree photos. Even though it's not in the center of the frame, that might be the best one. Great. Eight pictures of Meowth. We definitely want to see his face. <laughs> he looks so awkward. Let's go with that one right there because he's being attacked and that's pretty neat. One photo of Kangaskhan. Or Kangaskhan's butt. One picture of Eevee. Very nice. And is there anything else that we could possibly be missing here? Oh, Pikachu. I choose you. Pretty sure that's it. Yep, that's it. Great. To Professor Oak. I'm pretty sure if we forgot a Pokemon, it would prompt me here. So good thing we didn't forget anything. Huh, what's new this time? Pikachu. Let me see. This is a Pikachu. How's the size? 570 points. It's so-so. The pose. Five, 750 points. It's so-so. The technique. The Pokemon is right in the middle of the frame. I could double the score for you. Wonderful. It's a Lapras. <laughs> kind of. 70 points. It's not Ooh, very close. good. That's all the points I got. Yep, 70 points. Uh, to be fair, it's not a very good photo. Kind of like the Loch Ness Monster. Now, how's the size of this Butterfree? 420. Nice. The pose? 1,000. All right. The technique? The Pokemon's right in the middle of the frame. Sweet. Double the score. And there's other Butterfree in the picture. I'll give you an extra 200 points. Wonderful. Wonderful. Got this Doe Duo here, the size, 340. Ah, the pose, 350, the technique. It's right in the middle of the frame. Wonderful. I thought I would have gotten more for that. Look how happy this Eevee is. We got 320? Come on, that's appropriate size for that Eevee. 750? He's so happy. I don't understand what's so wrong. Kangaskhan, this is gonna be a bad one. I got 10 points on the pose. It's disappointing. It disappoints Pokemon to be photographed from behind. Okay, I'll be sure to remember that. It's a Meowth, that's right. 270 points for the size, 750 for the pose, the technique right in the middle of the frame. All right, Pidgey. This is going to be a good one. This is a Gust using Pidgey. Gust using Pidgey has a value of 500 points. The size, 240. That's it? I didn't even get credit for the other Pidgey in the photo? Wait. Wait, Austin, let's return to the lab. I got eight types of Pokemon registered. Uh, so at this point in the Pokemon history, there's only Kanto, red, blue, green, yellow Pokemon discovered. And it ends at Mew. So you're not going to see Pokemon beyond number 151. And this game doesn't have nearly that many Pokemon. I think it has like 60 something. So yeah, I saw the pictures taken today by Austin. I saved those pictures in the Pokemon report. I'll help you out once you have more Pokemon pictures. Good luck, Austin. Oh, I have arranged it so that you can see the Pokemon report. That's my Pokemon report. Okay, cool. Oh, I have to look at the Pokemon report. I would like to not look at the Pokemon report. Thank you. Go to course. Austin can go to the next course. Yeah. There used to be a power plant in this long, dark tunnel. I can't wait to check it out. Are you actually going to check it out, or is it me who checks it out? And I can't wait to check it out either, which we're going to do in the next episode of Austin John Plays Pokemon Snap. It's going to be a real limited series, and it's going to go by real fast. Look at, look at the duration of this video. I don't even know if it's eligible for multiple ads in a single video yet. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. I'm going to continue listening to this music loop while I'm doing my outro. It's not distracting at all. Do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. And if you're excited for Pokemon Snap, hit that thumbs up button. Till next time, Austin John out.